each year we get lots of questions about fall herbicide applications. So today we want to answer a few of those questions. And let me start with this. I realize you're super busy. It's the busiest time on our farm as well, even busier than in the spring. But in some cases, you are definitely ahead to stop the combine and spray in a couple different afternoons to address some of your weed problems. Well, the reason that Brian said afternoons, and you may pick particular days, is because the weather certainly dictates how well that herbicide is gonna work in many cases. If you get ideal weather where you've got 70 degree temperatures or above and low winds, that's a perfect day for spraying. All right, what we're really after here is perennials and biennials. So let's just say you've got dandelions or thistles, or maybe it's mare's tail out in your field. Mare's tail, like for us on our farm, when we switched to no-till on a bunch of our acres about 25 years ago, all of a sudden, we started seeing all kinds of mare's tail and then a bunch of dandelions too. So in the spring, we'd go along and spray our normal burn down and we'd go, man, that wasn't very good at all. Let's try something different the next year. We'd try something different, more aggressive, spend more money. Same result. Well, one year I just got sick of it. it. We were about five years in and I'm like, man, there's mare's tail everywhere. Here's what we're gonna do. Guys, we're shutting down the combines today and we're gonna go spray. And we did this a couple, three different days and we literally in one shot wiped out all the mare's tail on our farm. It was unbelievable. We went out with a quart of Banville. Didn't cost all that much money, roughly 10 bucks an acre. Now I realize 10 bucks is 10 bucks and you go, boy, I don't really wanna spend that. If you can eliminate your mare's tail, well, now you're in great shape. And with these winter annuals and the perennials, they're there in the fall, but you've gotta get after them in the fall. Otherwise by spring and by the time you can actually do your burn down when it's warm enough, they're huge. The root systems are big. They're, they're just too tough to kill at that point in many cases. So get them sprayed in the fall. Now, when we're talking about killing weeds that are up, that's where the weather is important. If you're just putting out residual herbicides in the fall to try to help you out for next spring, then the weather isn't quite so important. So for example, maybe you say, you know, I've got weeds that are gonna come up early in the spring. My field might be a little tough to get into right away in the spring. I may not be timely. That's a good spot to throw some residual herbicides in. And Brian mentioned putting out things to burn down what's up today. You may also consider at the same time adding a soil residual product to help you out with residual control into the spring. And of course, if they don't have a lot of burn down activity, then you aren't so worried about the fall weather. Now, if you want to get more burn down activity out of products like Valor, for example, that gets used a lot in the fall in front of next year's soybeans. Well, it's got burn down activity. So again, stick with the good weather to get the most out of it. Okay, by good weather, what we're talking about is 70 degree temps before you've had a bunch of killing frost. The other thing is if you want to increase the burn down activity of any herbicide, throw a methylated seed oil or crop oil with it. You could also throw a little liquid fertilizer with it. That will help. But anyway, picking the right residual herbicide, how do you do that? What you're looking for is something that has a lot of residual. So Valor's pretty good. Authority might even be slightly better. Trifluralin, even Prowl, uh, some of the group 15s, those are all pretty good, okay? What you don't usually want to pick is something like atrazine that's very leachable, something like, let's say, metribuzin that's very leachable and doesn't last a long time. So be a little bit careful with what you're doing. If you go out and spray metribuzin too early in the fall, it's just flat out not going to be there in the spring. And so if you were counting on spring residual, it's not doing you any good. If you were just counting on fall residual, fine, it's okay, I have no problem with that. So just be a little bit choosy on which products for residual you use in the fall. Valor is probably the most popular in the fall because it's super inexpensive and, well, honestly, Valent has pushed Valor in the fall, but like I said, Authority actually has slightly more residual. Authority would be really good too in the fall. So either way, you're fine. The other thing I'd mention here is tillage because we get a lot of questions about tillage and, you know, I've got this Canada thistle patch and I, I'm thinking about doing some tillage. Hold on, don't do the tillage get this burn down done first if you've got perennial or biennial weeds so you can wipe them out. If you've got that root system still intact, you can completely kill those weeds with an application in the fall in many cases. So do that first, leave those spots. If you have to do tillage out in the field, just lift the implement up, drive over the top of the perennial patch and then put it back in the ground again so you can get a good kill with your burn down. Well, okay, when you talk about burn down, to me, burn down just means I'm burning it to the ground. What we want here is a complete systemic kill. That means a very high rate of Roundup probably by itself. If you go with something like 2,4-D or dicamba along with the Roundup, that could shut down that plant before 
it gets time to translocate or move that Roundup all the way through the extensive growing system, that's a problem. So again, be careful about what you're after here, what you're picking for a herbicide, work with your agronomist, lots of good options out there. And like I say, if you've got perennials or winter annuals, maybe biennials, fall is a great time to spray. All right, should you spray our Weed of the Week this fall? Well, we'll tell you coming up next. <music>